All right, hey guys, we did off film on one, and today I'm doing my gear bag video. Uh, this is an updated gear bag video from uh, my previous version, which I did a few months ago, I think. Anyways, I've gotten a lot of different stuff since then. Uh, switched a lot of things around, changed my priorities in paintball, and uh, now I'm really playing on a woodsball team uh, with my friends and some uh, brothers of mine. We're called the Storm Runners. If you want, you can like them on Facebook, but we're not really all that serious. We're just playing for fun. It's pretty sweet, though. Uh, anyways, we'll start off with, I guess we'll start off with my toolbox since it's really big and I don't want to show it too long. Anyways, this is my, basically my do-it-yourself, fix-everything uh, toolkit. So inside, boom. Now you're not going to be able to see half this. I'll just tilt it a little bit so you can see it. But I got chronograph, I got all sorts of lubes, allen keys, wrenches, batteries, spare parts, anything you would basically need to fix your marker. Um, I also have, this is the top layer. Uh, inside, got microfibers, more batteries, more toolkits, and uh, manuals that I've had for markers. And basically it's just all sorts of stuff that uh, you could use to fix a marker. I even have some spare regs in there, uh, macro line fittings, and all that sort of jazz. So it's basically my handy dandy really large toolkit. It actually probably weighs about 20 pounds or more, has a lot of stuff in it. Uh, next up, we'll start with my clothing, I guess. Got my jersey, marked paintball. Uh, they're a sweet field, check them out if you don't know who they are. Um, we played, I played on West Carlton Evolution in the RXL. I was number three the whole season. Uh, sick, that's my jersey. I, I don't actually wear this too often. Um, I like the jersey, but it doesn't match with what I wear normally. Uh, it's more of memorabilia, I, I really liked playing. Next up we got a proto chest protector, size extra large, it's pretty big, uh, actually way too big for me. I might actually cut the uh, extra, this stuff off, extra mesh, don't really need it, but it's very comfortable, gives you lots of bounces, it's got great padding on it, I'd recommend it for sure. Um, next up, Falcon VTAC pants, you're not going to be able to see that in the whole f shot, but that's okay. Basically like my other Valken uh, Redemption pants I used to own, the red ones. Very good padding, you know, nice knee padding, uh, crotch padding, etc. It's very nice, it's woodland camo. And uh, to go along with that, I have my VTAC woodland camo, I can't even find the shirt. Oh, woodland camo shirt. It's got nice breathable mesh, meshy type material here. Uh, very soft, very comfy, lightweight and breathable, and it's got patches patches spaces for right here. Um, so yeah. Next up, my uh, Clips Slide Shorts 2011 Overload Edition. Uh, these are very nice. You can take out the padding from along the hips and the crotch if you don't want to wear them like that. But they're very comfortable. They're pretty breathable. I mean, you still get hot wearing them, but I like them. I don't really want my crotch to get hit, obviously. So uh, Next up, my Overload 2011 Edition Elbow Pads. Um, these have been great to me, not ripped yet. Uh, the cuffs still are in good condition. No rips even from pulling it off all season long. Uh, I like those a lot. Um, next up, we have Overload 2011 edition knee pads. Great, they've started, like when I first got them they were really tight, but they've now kind of form fitted to the way uh, my knees are and they are comfy and they fit very well and they're not too hot during the day, so I like them. Um, got a toque I wear, uh, nothing fancy, it's black with a logo on the back of a local pro, uh, store in my town. 2011 Empire Contact Edition gloves. Uh, these have worked great for me with speedball. Most people like cutting their fingers off, but I found that keeping the fingers on is actually fine because like I can still walk, you know, I can still walk the, uh, the trigger fast with these. No issues whatsoever, as you can tell. They're sick gloves. Yeah, I've actually gotten bounces off them too, which is nice. I definitely recommend these too. Um, okay, so after that, we're going to move on to some random stuff I have, like pods. Obviously got, you know, paint in them. There's two pods. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, so I usually bring 11 pots on the field. Uh, I actually have about 16, but 11 is all I take. 
um, go on to my tanks. This is my backup tank. We It's actually kind of like a family tank. We just got it for Christmas. It's a great tank though. Gorilla Air 48-3000. I don't really use it unless I have to. And yeah. Got my primary tank which is the uh, Ninja Grego 6845 with Falcon tank cover. Um, we've also got a CP uh, dust cover and just a regular old rubber fill nipple protector. So it's, it's really well protected. It's a great tank. It actually really hasn't been out of, out of the uh, the Falcon tank cover ever, so it's in perfect condition. And it's got a 2011 Hydro, so it's good till 2016. Uh, it's a great tank. Uh, fits a lot of air. I like it. Fits me properly. You know, fits my shoulder when I'm holding my marker. So it's good. I recommend it. Uh, we'll go on to my masks. I take a lot of masks with me on the field in case I ever have to lend them out, or in case I want to use a certain mask for um, like weather, depending on the weather, like whether it's foggy or uh, whether I'm playing in the woods a lot, or if it's bright out, like I have certain masks for each element. Uh, this is my backup loner piece of shit mask. I wore this for a few years when I first started out using Tipman 98s and stuff like that. Uh, it's been through a lot. It's got some stickers on from purchases and stuff. It's it's a good mask though. It's a good starter mask for sure. Um, next up, got my Empire Events digital blue digital camo. Uh, pretty beaten up. It's a couple of years old. It's actually got some ready on the lens from something I was doing a while ago, but uh, yeah, it's also kind of a loner mask. I gotta replace the lens, like I've said. It's got writing on it, but it's a decent mask. Next up, got my Empire Terrapot Edition events. So I've got two pairs of events. Uh, I like these a lot. They're meant for if it's really bright out, I'll wear these likely because it's got the tinted dark lens. I'm not gonna wear them in the woods because it'd be hard to see people, but uh, I like them. These are a great mask. Got them cheap at a sale. My store, my local store, was happening, so I capitalized on that. I uh, also got the Proto Pro Axes. Great mask. I love the Proto Axes. Wore these for a whole season of speedball. I got. I don't know if you can tell, but they have a little bit of scratches on them. Not much though. It's still in pretty good condition. Uh, I used these for my, like I said, my whole season of speedball. They've been through a lot, and I really like them. Uh, that with that being said though, they are for sale. If anyone ever wants to buy them. Feel free to PM me, but uh, if not, I'm okay with keeping them. <laughs> I like them. And my newest addition are my Die I4s, white and black. Uh, just got these for Christmas, actually. Didn't even really ask for them, but I'm glad I got them. They're sick masks. They fit my face perfectly, if you can't tell. As you can see, fits me great. Really like the mask. Really recommend I4s. They're actually my favorite mask that I own. Uh, next up, Z2 Prophecy. It's actually my only loader right now. You know, don't have a backup or anything yet. Plan on getting a rotor or something at some point. Maybe even another Z2. I don't know. We'll see how things go. But it's great. You know, just toggle switch to turn it on. Similar to the rotor now, where it just constantly spins rather than just you know, have to knock on it to advance it or shoot your marker. I like the Z2 though, it's great. Uh, last but not least, obviously got my marker, die cam edition DM12. I plan on getting a secondary marker at some point, maybe an Axe or an Etha or something, just as like, I don't know, a loner or a marker that I use when I'm trading around my other guns. So I'll just show you what it looks like even though you guys have seen it in some of my videos, obviously. Taking it out of the plastic. So as you can see, DM12, Dicam Edition, uh, great marker. Plan on shooting it next season if I still have it by then. I uh, haven't been getting any good offers on it. And I'm really liking it so far. It's pretty smooth. So uh, you might see it around for a while longer. I like it. Yeah. So that's my gear bag right here. Um, you can see all my gear right along here. <laughs> I got a lot of gear. It's all piled up there. But yeah, that's my little video on my gear bag. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, doing a shout out to Aim Boots. He's a friend that uh, that I played at Mark Paintball with. His, his channel is spelled A I M B zero zero T Z Aim Boots. So. Feel free to check him out. He does some pretty cool uh, helmet cam or barrel cam videos, 
and he's a good friend of mine, so yeah, definitely check him out. And this is BTL, that's Film 101, thanks guys.